of the road. It's the King of the Road Show, and I'm Jim King. During the next 30 minutes, we'll start our look in the rear view at King of the Road Productions' recent European adventure with visits to Florence, Italy, and Lugano, Switzerland. In this episode, we'll keep our focus on Florence, Italy, widely regarded to be one of the most beautiful cities in the world. When it comes to culture, cuisine, art, and architecture, Florence, Italy is in a league of its own. Oh, and speaking of cuisine, our sponsor for this European series is Carabas Italian Grill in Beaumont. Having spent a lot of time in Italy, I'm very particular about Italian food, and as far as finding authentic Italian cuisine in Southeast Texas, there's no better place than Carabas Italian Grill. Carabas is located at 1550 Interstate 10 South in Beaumont, and they're open Monday through Thursday, 4 to 10 p.m., Fridays, 4 to 11, Saturdays, 3 p.m. to 11 p.m., and Sundays, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Be at Carabas on Wine Wednesdays and get $10 off any bottle on their extensive wine list. For more information, visit Carabas.com. Now join me as we fly off to beautiful Florence, Italy. This is what I'm talking about. I'm really king of the road now. This is a stretch excursion limo. Oh, I gotta thank my uh, lovely assistant, Debbie Grenantz, for securing this limo. Oh, hi, yo. Sky King! Sky King, flight LH441, non-stop from Houston, Texas to King of the Road's birthplace, Frankfurt, Germany. Final destination, Florence, Italy. During the long flight, we were treated to several delicious meals. On flight LH441, we also enjoyed numerous cold and hot beverages. And since I had a window seat, a bird's eye view of the globe. Touching down in Frankfurt, Germany again was memorable because as I mentioned earlier, Frankfurt was my birthplace. My family was living in Stuttgart, Germany at the time. Anyway, as expected, security was tight at all the airports that we visited during our European adventure. I hadn't been frisked that much since the time I was nearly detained for violating Jefferson County's anti-crown ordinance. And we have lift off. After a brief stop at the Frankfurt, Germany airport, we were off to Italy, aka the big boot. I call it that because beautiful Italy is shaped like a large boot. On our flight to Florence, we enjoyed spectacular views as we flew over the Italian Alps. Finally, after two flights and over 12 hours of traveling, we were back in Florence, Italy. Florence is the capital city of the Italian region of Tuscany and is the most populous city in Tuscany with around 400,000 inhabitants. 1.5 million in the metropolitan area. The city lies on the Arno River and is known for its history and its importance in the Middle Ages and the Renaissance, especially for its art and architecture. A center of medieval European trade and finance, and one of the richest and wealthiest cities at the time, Florence is often considered the birthplace of the Italian Renaissance. In fact, it has been called the Athens of the Middle Ages. From 1865 to 1870, the city was also the capital of the Kingdom of Italy. Now we're at the Ponte Vecchio, which means old bridge. In fact, the Ponte Vecchio is the oldest bridge in Florence. This bridge is actually about a thousand years old. And this was the only bridge that wasn't blown up in World War II by the Germans. About a thousand years ago or so, they used to sell meat on here, but um, a lot of it would decay, you know, and start smelling here on the bridge. So um, they replaced the meat with gold. So now it's mainly uh, jewels, jewelry and gold that's sold here on this uh, Ponte Vecchio, which means old bridge. Got a beautiful view of the Arno River here. As you notice, there's no vehicles uh, crossing this bridge, strictly a foot bridge. In fact, it's the only bridge in uh, Florence, in all of Florence, that they don't allow cars or trucks or any kind of vehicles to go across. When you're out strolling the streets of Florence, you're likely to see a lot of live entertainment, musical and other forms of entertainment, like this street performer, AKA Cupid, a familiar face in Florence. I tell you, the uh, sculptures really come alive here in Florence, Italy. That's obviously is uh, Cupid. You gonna get fresh with me? Wow.
<laughs> I'm getting fresh with the sculptures too. Molto bene. Bravo. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. And here's a penny for your thoughts. Dominating the serene Tuscan skyline is the Duomo Cathedral in Florence. Requiring six centuries to complete, the massive structure is one of the most enduring symbols in all of Italy. Located in the appropriately named Piazza del Duomo and dedicated to Santa Maria del Fiore, Saint Mother of the Flower, the Duomo is the third largest cathedral in the world and de facto center of Florence, with its gigantic cupola visible from nearly every street in the city. Considered to be architect Filippo Brunelleschi's masterpiece, the cathedral's giant cupola was constructed to express the bridging of Greek and Gothic architecture. Well, here it is, the Duomo, one of the largest uh, Christian cathedrals in the entire world in the 13th and 14th century. Construction began in 1296. It was consecrated in 1436. The uh, marble facade was added in the uh, 19th century kind of controversial. A lot of people consider it ugly, but I, I think it's very colorful and uh, striking. The interior is kind of stark these days because uh, a lot of the um, paintings and uh, sculptures that were originally inside of here have been moved to the um, Opera Museum adjacent to the uh, Duomo. Definitely the uh, largest landmark in uh, all of Florence, Italy. We're in San Lorenzo Market, the best place to buy a leather coat. In fact, I bought this two years ago, Alexandro, from nice you. Nice to meet you, yes. You're a great salesman. I you know? remember you two years ago. Yeah. You buy from me this jacket. And... It's the king of the road show, and we're looking in the rear view at our recent visit to beautiful Florence, Italy. More after these.